Well, the sun came out and everybody was a little bit shocked about how it made their eyes feel burny when they looked at it. So everyone started running and looking for sunglasses. So it is a perfect time to talk about what is the right sunglass for you and how to get the right protection as well. And we're joined now by Dr. Della Chow from Della Optique. How are you, Della? Hi, Della. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Mike. So nice tell us what we're talking about today, picking the right shades. Yeah, so we're talking about picking what shape of sunglasses for your face. And last year we did something about choosing frames for your face, but yeah. the rules are the same. If you have a square face, choose something round. Well, let's start with the round. We've got a couple of celeb photos for this one. We've got uh, Lady Gaga for the girls and Johnny Depp for the guys. Uh, so tell us about this kind of look. So this is actually, the styles are going back to classic and timeless. They're Persauls. Um, they're from 1920s when these were first 1920s made. and then yeah. 1980s and, and 1980s. now keep coming back. as well. Yeah. Uh, why did you bring this as well? Because there's an interesting thing about protection because, of course, that's one of the main features of sunglasses. Yeah, exactly. So between these two pairs, yeah. uh, I'll put this one Okay. Down. These two pairs, which do you think has uh, more ultraviolet protection? Well, right. the glasses glasses, yes? No? And you think that one? Have? Oh, these are the ones that you get when you get your drops, right? Yep. Oh, I'm changing on that one. What, so they're both the same? Yeah, exactly. So, Nerd. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> both of them have 100% ultraviolet protection. So what you're paying for when you're paying more is actually the quality of the lens. So these ones, like you said, Mike, we yeah. give them to you. The quality of the vision is not very good with them, but you do have 100% ultraviolet protection. Whereas these ones, um, it's like a camera lens. Mm -hmm. It's like a disposable right. camera, and that's very good quality camera. Very so nice. that's what you're paying for. And okay, let's that. move on to Aviator, which never seems to go out of style. Uh, both Tom Cruise and Angelina Jolie wearing the Aviators. I know Eckford loves the avi Aviators. Who suits these? Well, this, Tom this is Cruise. also <laughs> another classic. And when you choose Aviators, they have different shapes of Aviators. Mm -hmm. actually. Right. This one's aviator more just, square. Is that like the wire rim? Is yeah, that it's the that, wire rim. But style. this is a... Um, uh, aviator that was made in the 80s, which is a retro look, the mm -hmm. plastic. Okay, yeah. nice. Put those on, Fifi. Do you think? I don't know. I, think, I have to go with the bigger the better for this. I think those look great on you. I think those look really good on you, too. Yeah, they I think those good. look good. Okay, well, let's. I'm going to keep them on for this. Uh, let's go to embellished and oversized, because these are the ones that I usually gravitate towards. We've got Ava Mendes and Olivia Palermo here. So both fashionistas, and so they seeking attention these will get you that attention Let's well these one. were the ones i first went for because they were the biggest ones on the table yeah but they hit your cheeks they do they hit I my can cheeks see on the side but you can get because i always get little nose pieces yep. put in when they hit your cheeks because they'll leave marks you can exactly. get them customized yeah. it's not bad He's, no. a, he's always going for, not the, good. for the girls' glasses. Okay, let's go to the cat eye and diamond. We've got uh, Scarlett Johansson and also model Rosie Huntington here, both gorgeous girls. I think they could look good with anything on. This has a real retro feel to it, mm -hmm. this whole yeah. style. And these are Persols, which are the retro one. Yeah. And then that cat's eye there, that's uh, Prada's cat's I'm not eye. sure if the cat's eye are going to be your look, Mike. They're not bad. Not, not bad, not actually. Not bad, actually. <laughs> but I picked out a pair for you, the Persol's over there. They extend the brow line a little the, bit as well. The timeless classics for the guys. Now we've got Daniel Craig and George Clooney. I think two of the hottest men in the world. So, Mike, why don't you throw these on? Uh, these have been, like, I, I've seen these throughout there. How's that? Well, so, Della, like tell on? us about these ones. Well, these ones, as you said, um, they're worn by George Clooney and by uh, Daniel Craig. Yeah. And they are kind of timeless, aren't they? I mean, they're the yeah. classic, uh, you know, look, look good, good with this suit. Mm -hmm. They look good. And casual. let's talk about sporty ones because there's all sorts of different options. Uh, what have you brought with you today? Well, I brought with me the Oakleys. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I want to talk a little bit about sport performance. There are different lenses um, that can enhance your vision depending on the sport that you're playing. If you're out in a really sunny environment, gray is best because it cuts out all the light evenly. Okay. But oh. because we aren't, we're in Vancouver. Um, <laughs> right. Well, we don't get constant bright light. <laughs> we don't. And I'm glad we had it this week. Um, a tint that's brownish or pink that actually highlights contrast and it makes that overcast gray sky. Yeah. Even though some people feel glary, this mm -hmm. will make it's it It's the same in goggles when you're skiing, right? Mm -hmm. So you can see exactly. bumps on kind of the flat light day. And if you flip those around on the inside as well, you can they, see how these work for prescriptions, yes? Yeah, there's a prescription, and 
It's already put in there because yeah. I fumble around. But that's but, great. Then you yeah. can just leave them on. And then we've got the Lance Armstrong. Yeah. This one is Lance Armstrong. When you buy a pair, these are his yellow colors. Yeah. And gets a percentage to his foundation. Nice. That's great. Uh, and all these can be uh, done for people that need prescription Absolutely. lenses and everything yeah. else. Still offer all the UV protection, but you can actually yeah. see what you're and doing. And it's really important, that ultraviolet protection, because we're actually living longer. So we're got to protect the eyeballs. Exactly. That's a really interesting point, right? As we mm -hmm. extend our lives into our 80s, 90s, all that kind of stuff. Because you get freckles in the back of the eyes. You and do? Yes. Whoa, and Della. You have too many freckles. That's what's called macular degeneration, and you can oh, lose your vision. I didn't know that. So we are living longer, and we need to wear sunglasses. It's not just a movie star thing anymore. Really? Right? Yeah. I didn't <laughs> know it was like a freckling. That's really. But those look good on you too. Well, if Thank you, you. want to visit Della, you can do so at Della Optique. Uh, we're going to take a break.